Hi everybody, it's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe, and I continue with my challenge to watch all of Tim's videos, Sarasota Tim, Cowboy Tim, Tim Cup, uh, Coffee Tim, <laughs> whatever, Crushing It Tim, however you wish, Devotional Tim, he has so many names and personas, it's hard to keep track of them all. But I gave myself a challenge this week that I would watch all of Tim's content in an effort to get to know him much better and understand a little bit about his personality. And we are starting to come towards the end of day two. And this is video number seven. And luckily, it's a quick one. And uh, sadly, I've had to go back onto my antibiotics. And so... I had a little bit of an allergic reaction that I always forget that I have when I start these medications. And so I am on double bit of drill. So if I seem like I'm a little bit more slow speech, it's probably because I've just started a whole course of medications. So at least it's the perfect week to be having so much time now to watch Tim's content because I will be pretty much stuck at home um, on this course of uh, dual medication antibiotics. So yeah, uh, anyway, let me just get my fair use out before we get any further. And I did want to thank all of the new subs and uh, those watching and taking the time to comment on my content. I do use this fair use statement just to let people know that this is just for entertainment purposes and any of the material that I use from Tim is under fair use. And uh, just uh, again, this is my opinion. It's commentary. And I did want to say that I am not treating or diagnosing Tim, even though I am a registered nurse licensed here in the United States with over a decade of experience and a year in postgraduate studies trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. Ah, my goodness. All right. So let me make me small so that we can get over to this room here um, and see, you know, poor Timmy's room because everything is content for Tim. Nothing is, nothing is off limits. <laughs> All right, Tim, take it away. Oops. Take it away. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from the Riverside Resort badass room right here, Mr. Timmy's room. You come in the door, it's a standard room. You got the restroom there. Of course, he's been here a couple of days, so he's oh great. So we get to see the toilet seat up and the towel on the floor. You know, just like most of us leave the uh, bathroom. Poor Timmy looks like he's in the midst of trying to do something. I guess he gave permission because Tim's like, you know what? We need to make content. And uh, I want to give a review um, and show everybody that I am like a Michelin star uh, review expert here. And I am going to be reviewing rooms and restaurants and all of this for the tourism industry. He's living in it. He's a guy. That's the bed he's sleeping in. I guess he hasn't tried this one yet. I'd use them both. They give you an ironing board, huh? Okay. Hey, look, you have a nice little headboard there. Mm -mm. But check out the view. He's got a big screen TV and everything. You got a little desk here. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> but look at this view. Now, there's no balcony to go out on. But look, there's the yeah. pool we were at uh, right down there. We were just sitting there with those people getting ready to sit down. And we met these kids down there. They're going to be, she's going to be 30 years old tomorrow. They're going to the Bellagio. And they're down there really having a good time. Uh -uh. Anyway, there's Bullhead City. Sam's Club is straight across. And then there's the Home Depot. Uh, great view of the river here on the island right there. And uh, that's the bridge that you come across. The only one, unless you go way south down to Fort Mojave, that'll bring you over from Arizona. to. It's fascinating to see that the Arizona side is not as built up from the bank of the river as much as the uh, Laughlin side. I wonder if it's obviously to do with flooding. I would think it's a, it's a river. It's going to be susceptible to flooding. Nevada. And, of course, Don Laughlin had his resort built right here. Uh, and there's the airport just up the one or two of those little plateaus there. You don't see planes coming in much at all there. It's not a busy airport at all. 
but I have seen a couple of big jets come in and it's quite a sight to see because it's rare. But look how clear that Colorado River is. I'll zoom in for you. 55 degrees year round. There's nothing better than a window with some specs on it that some guy is just pointing his camera through for content. Gain. Very short, Tim. And uh, we've got some warm temperatures uh, for the next uh, several days, uh, four or five days. It's probably going to prevent me from uh, playing some golf. And then again, I might play. I don't know. I'm going to be studying really hard uh, the next few days since uh, Timmy be leaving in the morning. And I won't have any more visitors coming to see me. Uh, they'll just be hanging out and be hot temperatures. And Miss T won't arrive till the end of the month. And so I'm going to have to figure out somewhere to go, I think. Okay, next. so we keep hearing that Miss T is in arriving at the end of the month. So that still seems to be on plan. It's on target to happen. Okay, so it's very quiet on the river there. Uh, it's Like I said, it's interesting to see how built up one side is comparatively to the other. And, uh, you know... If this is artificially made green, because really they are in a desert area. Interesting. It's a week. I just paid my rent yesterday. So uh, come before Monday of next week, a uh, very good chance I'll be hooking up and heading on out of here to um, somewhere cooler, but where I can be near an airport, a cheap airport, uh, to pick her up. But uh, we'll work all those logistics out down the road. I just want to show you guys this room. I think it's a pretty cool view, actually. This doesn't open, does it? It does, but... There's nowhere to go. It's all fake. You can tell they don't come out here and clean with a window washer because the spider webs there haven't even cleaned them all. But yeah, I don't think it's a bad view at all to have this room. Now he gets this room for free because he's a um, a guest uh, that comes often. He comes over here and visits often, and he's um, you know he's a moderate wager like a lot of people around here. Uh, he doesn't spend a lot of money, but they give these rooms away to people just to get them to come over here. So actually, he's got more than just the room. He's got a buffet. Um, that's why we're up here. You just want to drop something off. So you want to come see the room? I said, yes, let's video it. Uh, we're going to go to a buffet they have here at the uh, Riverside Resort. Um, Dodgers run line. Damn, you the hell out of me. Today. <laughs> Dodgers run line. What's the Dodgers run line? Well, if you're obviously betting a certain amount or gambling a certain amount, then uh, you would be uh, having – these rooms provided it's not going to be for somebody like me who looks for dollar blackjack tables but obviously we do want a trigger warning to anybody who does find gambling and talk around gambling uh some type of trigger uh, i would then just recommend that you click away from this uh, video commentary um because obviously there's talking about this conversation here one and a half runs up. Oh, okay. Dodgers. That's his wager. Yeah, he likes to bet on the sports. He doesn't do slot machines or any of that stuff. Uh, but um, we're going to go to the buffet, not the prime rib room. He doesn't have those benefits. We exhausted those already. But uh, maybe if he loses a little bit more money or wins some money, uh, next time he comes, we'll <laughs> offer him that. Uh, we might do uh, some bowling. Of course, Tim is um, He's leaving sorry. in the morning, so I don't know. Uh, I don't think he said he wants to because his back is wrenched. Uh Poor Timmy, his back is wrenched, and you still insisted that he keep playing. I see you have not uploaded the back nine, so hopefully that was never something that ended up happening. And uh, the other is that I see you exhausted all of his benefits that he gets from being in this room because he makes bets on sports games. So, and I can't think there's a lot of games to be betting on at the moment sports wise a lot of things have come to the an end unless you're going to be betting on the olympics which i keep forgetting are happening in paris this this year he said throwing his back out would be bad so he's got a lot of weeding to do when he gets back to apple valley california mm -mm. so i uh, hope you enjoyed the view here uh this is the uh this it smells good there's no smoke smell in here the hallways were nice i had a guy give me his room about a month ago when i was here with the small camper and oh, it's um, Timmy getting caught like he looks like he's just trying to get ready for something like dinner I'm not sure <laughs> whatever <laughs> for right up in Tim, Timmy's business and Timmy's room <gasps> six minutes of Tim just standing there with a the camera 
But often they have the smoking on certain floors so it doesn't drift down into other people's rooms who are non-smoking. It wouldn't make sense. I think they may still have a floor where the smokers get to be. But you have to ask for that. I would not want that room. It had a smoky smell at the Tropicana. I didn't even want to stay in it. So, uh, but this is very nice. The lobby smells good. I like the Riverside, uh, uh, yeah, Riverside Resort. I like the benefits that I get in my RV by having this cool pool. And today, uh, like when we were touring around those other... Not to interrupt, but they had a controversy about that with a casino they built here in our local area. And they had the floors were smoker friendly, I guess. And people were complaining quite a lot about that. And I think the casino ended up having to do some type of limitation with the smoking in the end because people in this area were not drawn, but they were trying to give it that Vegas feel where people, you know, I guess who gamble probably smoke, I guess, on the whole, and they don't want them to not be able to, you know, gamble and smoke and do what they do at the slot machines or the tables. Though people said we haven't seen any tables. Anyway, all right. <laughs> but, yeah, it's uh, – i rather not be in the smoke, to be honest. I don't want to smell like it coming out, and uh, I don't need it for my lungs, especially with everything I have going on. Uh, casinos, <laughs> other go. than Aquarius, uh, um, the pool around the uh, Harrah's is nice. They have a little beach over there. Uh, this is about as good as it gets. So if you want to come to Laughlin, you can't go wrong with the Riverside or the Aquarius. Uh, the restaurants are right next door. If you stay here, you can go over there or vice versa uh, with all the bowling and uh, movie theater they got here and the uh, dining and all that. Anybody can come and do that. You don't have to be a guest uh, to spend your money in the uh, in the restaurants and stuff. So we got one lonely jet skier out there. He's just uh -huh. doing donuts. Uh -uh. He or she. There's another one coming. Uh -huh. But look at that beautiful landscape. It's all going to be coming to an end in a few days for me. Uh, I probably will still be seeing mountains as I'll be out west. But uh -huh. the desert uh, terrain and the scorching heat that does come this time of year, June, July, and August, where jackrabbits are carrying canteens and nobody wants to be here, uh, and neither do I. But man, what a oh, I'm wondering, why don't you just go back to Florida, Miss Tammy? Oh, I guess Florida's hot too. I guess a lot of people want to be in California. Oh, okay. That sounds like it's going to be a new parking lot for the RV then, and maybe some more interesting content. Hey, as Tim goes across more interstates around America. A beautiful place it was about a month ago when I came here with the cramper. It was chilly in the morning. It was beautiful in the afternoon, breezy. I mean, I had, I had to put a jacket on. I was wearing my pants, my cowboy boots. But uh -huh. it's a completely different scene now. This is a, a scorcher. It's a uh, uninhabitable <laughs> area, basically. Uh, they were right what they said. When it gets to be about 110, mm. uh, you're just looking for air conditioning. You go from your car or from your store to, uh, to, you know, to your room or whatever. You're not hanging out. Like, the pool was fine. At 1.30, once that sun goes over this building, the pool is fine um, because it's completely shaded. And that's another benefit about coming here if you come during these next few months is you can look forward to not being uncomfortable at all around the pool out there. So uh, that's all we got, folks. It's time to go to the buffet and crush that buffet. Mm. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarah, so oh, Stop sharing that. We don't need to hear that again, Tim. Okay, do we? Oh, that was a quickie. <laughs> uh, Tim luckily kept his pants on, but Timmy did not keep his shirt on. So we got a little bit of a flash there. I don't think uh, Timmy was expecting that. And, uh, you know, Tim is always wandering around with the camera, so he may pick up on anything. So I'm wondering if we have a video about the buffet. I wonder once I get this uploaded, am I going to see a buffet video? I don't know. But I do appreciate all the new subscribers. And uh, so do make sure that you do that before you head out and uh, leave me a bed in the comments if you made it to the end of this uh, video. Leave me a bed since uh, we got a flash of Timmy's hotel room. And I uh, always want to thank, again, the supporters of my channel. They take the time to join uh, there are two tiers, and uh, we have some fun benefits. So take a look, find out a little bit more, and we appreciate always that support. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.